So how do you rank tensile compared to polyester and other plastic like we talked polyamide and lionel in regards to um, the impact on the environment and on our health? Mm, so the thing with lyocell is that it is a man-made fiber, but it's a man-made fiber based on a natural resource, which is point one, which is really good about it. Um, and then like for lyocell, you only need, need one like chemical, chemistry chemical i don't know say that you need just like one thing to produce it and not like a lot of other chemicals and stuff and yeah like it's really hard to compare it in general but for example when you compare it to cotton like compare a tree to a cotton plant like you have one square meter like filled with cotton and you have one square meter filled with a tree. So you have more material on that one square meter when you use the tree instead of the mm. cotton. And it so, takes much less land. So you yeah, just, uh, kind of, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's like the first point, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like the material, you, the material you use and when you compare it to polyester, you need less energy to produce it and you produce less, um, whoa, was heißt CO2? CO2, CO2. Yeah, CO2. Yeah, so that, that like the, the, the energy point uh, of lyocell is much better, especially when you use uh, the lyocell made from, from Lansing, from Austria because they only do uh, green energy. Mm. Yeah, so that's also a point. And like for tensile, uh, for lyocell, sorry. <laughs> for lyocell, you need a lot less water than you need for cotton, for example. So mm. I feel like it's, it's 20,000 liter to 1,000 liter in comparison. So, it's a huge amount of water. Mm. For the cotton part, right? You yeah. talk about the cotton, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, mm. kind of, mm. I feel like I feel like Lyocell is the regional and sustainable answer to polyester. Mm. And how, so what I hear from you is like when you said with polyester, they to create polyester, and the other plastics they use usually a combination of different chemicals and that might be really harmful to us um so but then in tensile um they use only one component one solvent right so yeah. then there's also much much less chemicals involved if you compare it to polyester or maybe yeah mm -hmm. yeah and like what lansing did is developing a system that you can like put that one solvent in a circular system that you can like all the time use that thing. So mm. you don't dump the chemicals afterwards. You can mm. like use them all of the time, which is mm. yeah, super mm. sustainable in my, yeah. 